how are y'all doing? Long time no see. Today I want to upload and talk about a short video that continues uh, us working on drafting the second paper. So if you see on our week five, well, week five's over now, it's Saturday, but Tuesday, February 16th, week five, working on drafting the second paper. And then you have Thursday, February 18th, we have a couple of essays from our book that can be helpful in conceptualizing your ideas for the second paper. So I hope everyone watched the video where I talk through the second assignment. This one's a little different, right? Let's just, I have my sheet out. If you, if you would like, I'd like you to follow along. So remember, for this assignment, you will write a three-page description. I want you to talk about a thing that reminds you of something from your past. For example, you could write about a special item, particular food, a song, a singer, musician, article of clothing, jewelry, video game, book, restaurant, special place, car, etc., etc., jersey, trophy. So your thing, everybody should have their thing uh, chosen by now. And we're in the process of compiling notes. The paper's not due till March 2nd, so we got plenty of time. But the easiest thing to do is to uh, start to outline, start to jot down notes, start to kind of plan the paper beforehand. So what I want you to do now, and I'm going to, I'm going to include, a, I'm going to pull up a Microsoft Word doc. And this is one thing I always do when I start to brainstorm for a paper or write down notes. I do the good old fashioned who, what, when, where, why and how so these simple questions right these six things so this is what i want you to do for your item and your thing it seems very simple but this is this is helpful i mean this could be your paper here so what obviously what is your item and then i just want you to physically describe the item in minute detail you know what is it what does it look like what color is it what's the texture what's the what's what's physically describe the item in detail so that's the what who who does it remind you of so if you've chosen an item from your past does it remind you of a family member a friend to get a little existential and philosophical here how does it remind you of you back then compared to you now so that's the who who does your item your thing remind you of family member friend acquaintance teacher uh, who you were back then compared to who you are now when what's the time period what was going on and you, if you notice these can overlap right so if you're in high school middle school elementary school what was going on what was life like what's the time period be specific then where where were you Obviously, I mean, it doesn't have to be, you know, Rhode Island, right? I mean, not, not as literal as that. What, where were you? What were you doing? Uh, and again, these overlap. Were you in school? Were you at home? Were you living somewhere else? What were the circumstances? And for my money, this is one of the most important. Why was slash is the item important? And I want you to be extremely, I'm going to write extremely specific. What made the item important? Right? What did it do? Why was it significant? And again, you see all these overlap. So if it's important because it reminds you of your grandmother or your dad or your friend. But be specific. How did it make you feel? And that's where we get into the how here. How did it slash how 
does it make you feel? So what I would really recommend you doing, and you know, I have no way of, of seeing if you do this. I guess I could if I wanted to make everybody write this down and then upload it on our Blackboard page, uh, kind of checks and balances. I'm not going to do that, though, because I don't want, you know, these are things that I really want you to do on your own. Start to brainstorming, start to take notes. And the proof of whether you do this or not will be in the quality of the paper. The more work you do on the paper beforehand, uh, the kind of legwork, making notes, compiling ideas and thoughts, the better your paper is going to be. If you do none of this stuff and just sit down and write your paper, it's going to show. So I, I can tell, you know, I've been reading thousands and thousands of papers over years. But if you just want to copy the sheet, you know, I would just start to free write in, the, in these spots. Write down a bunch of sentences, a bunch of notes. Do that for each one. And this is your paper, really. I mean, once you have these notes down, you know, just start to, where were you? And, and you know, don't worry about <clears throat> being grammatical or, or tying it together. This is just brainstorming. My professors had me do this for my dissertation, right? Even when I was writing my dissertation, this is how I'd work. I would brainstorm and make notes. And then once you have these notes, you know, you could, I, I would really recommend you starting an outline. And here's how I would organize the outline. Intro. What's going on the intro? Introduce your item, some of the significant factors, who, what, when, why, you're just raising these things, you know. Thesis statement at the end of intro. For your thesis statement, answer this question. What is my item and why was or is it significant? Remember the thesis statement handout that's on our Blackboard page? I would recommend checking that out again. But this is your thesis statement, right? Answer this question. What is my item and why was or why is it significant, important? Your answer is your thesis. You know, you can answer that right here. And there you go. That's your thesis. And remember, think your intro being about a quarter page, half a page, that jumps right into your topic and, and sets the scene, sets the mood of your paper. And continuing your outline, you could do first body paragraph. This might be when you first received your item. What 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 are the events? Uh, what are the events around that? Right? You remember follow meal paragraph. This is your this is how you outline the paper. Main idea, remember, one to two sentences. Evidence, this is this is perhaps describing your thing. Two, three, four sentences. Analysis, why it's important. Like the thing in, in the paragraph, you're analyzing it. What's the significance of it, right? Two, three, four sentences. And then you're linking back to your thesis. One to two sentences, give or take. And you see this is this is your how your paragraph should be. Second body paragraph. You could possibly and again, you know, these this, these are just some guides or some ideas. You can organize your paper and uh Set it up however you want, but this is a framework, right? I mean, this is something that, that's a guide for it. Who does it remind you of? And again, you're doing the same. Third body paragraph.
how do you, you know, possibly, how do you think about the thing item now? You're doing some kind of meta existential thinking here. You know, we're getting into the realm of philosophy. Again, you know, if you have a fourth body paragraph, and you would have something else, right? And then, you know, your conclusion. Where you remember our conclusion sheet, synthesize your paper and point toward something else. So what? <coughs> and you know, this is really helpful. I, I prefer outline. I know, remember when we looked at some of those papers earlier on, you could do the clustering, the brainstorming, the spider webs, all that stuff. But uh, yeah, I mean, I really would like everyone to, you know, I think if you have your item in mind, which I really hope everybody does, if you probably spend about 15, 20 minutes filling out this sheet, working on this sheet, hell, that's your paper, right? Your paper's done, then you just have to go back and organize it. Put it together, read it out loud, make sure you, make sure it sounds good, make sure it has all, no, no, not many errors, you know, then you start, start the drafting phase, as they say in the city. So you start creating your rough draft, right? You start writing the thing. So I think this is helpful. I do this. I have done this for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve page papers, and I've done this for my dissertation. So this this uh, skill of outlining and setting up your paper, it's probably one of the most, for my money, in college, one of the best things you can learn. You know, when you get farther along junior, senior, grad school, you're not going to be studying for, you're not going to be making flashcards and studying for tests as often. Down the road when you're higher up, you're going to have big papers and big projects. Those are the two ways of evaluation for grades and courses. So not even with a paper like this, you can use this format, an outline, a map, to map out a larger project as well you know, when you're working in groups. So not only does this does this outline and these notes function for our short paper, but it can help you down the road. So basically that's what I want to do on this video. Uh, check it out. I hope you practice this and use this because it's going to pay dividends, not only now, but down the road. All right, I will talk to you all soon.